Hey there friends, it's Paul and welcome to another video and today we will be taking a look at Leonidas and his evolution Omega Leonidas. As we all know, Leo is the guardian Bakugan of the protagonist in the Bakugan Battle Brawlers video game that was released around 2009-2010. And ever since, he has become a fan favorite of many brawlers around the world. And a pretty neat characteristic of this Bakugan was that it could be any attribute that the player wanted. So if you wanted to play with an Aquas Leo, you could do it. You wanted to play with a Subterra variation, you could go for it. That was the really great thing about this Bakugan. In my case, I personally always went with either Leo as a Heios, Darkus, or Pyrus Bakugan, cause he really looked badass with those attribute colors. And before we continue, if you want to know how I got these two Leos, check out my previous video, I'll leave it in the description, as well as the two customizing tutorials I made of these Bakugan. Okay, let's get into the lore of this Bakugan. As it was shown in the initial cutscene of the video game, Leonidas is born in a Doom Dimension just moments after Hal G had created an orb that had similar abilities and powers to the Silent Core. Our character in the video game finds Leonidas at the park where Bakugan battles usually take place, and here we get to see that Leo's got quite the personality. He's quite aggressive and pretty hardcore. And the only thing he cared about was to fight Bakugans. He wanted to always fight Bakugans wherever, whenever, all the time. And well, this super intense personality was really reflected in Leonidas' fighting style, as he was quite brutal with his attacks, using his massive claws to strike his opponents, and using his Alpha Blaster ability to pretty much destroy them. <laughs> Due to this aggressive nature, and also cause no other Bakugan had ever heard of Leonidas, the OG battle brawlers Runo and Marucho basically said that Leo was a bit sus. However, in my books, just before this happens in the game, you beat both of them in a brawl, so they might just have been a bit salty cause you had just defeated them. <laughs> However, their suspicions become stronger when Dan informs everyone that he had brawled against a mysterious brawler with a never seen before Bakugan, who ended up being of course Marduk and Vladitor, the rivals of our character and Leonidas. Through these tough moments, our character always has Leo's back and asks everyone to show Leo the same trust he has for him, which really surprises the Bakugan and causes a really strong bond to be formed between them, and they become really great friends. And what is really great is that both Dan and Drago also share this trust for Leonidas, despite his origins. They see that Leonidas and her character can do a lot of good and save the world when the time comes. Throughout the story, our character and Leonidas embark on a series of tournaments in the various attribute themed arenas, participating in 1v1s, tag team battles, and battle royales, all in which they not only fight against Masquerade and his henchmen, but also against the battle brawler squad, earning their respect and becoming part of the team. In terms of his looks, Leonidas is a dragon-like Bakugan with some massive claws on his hands and feet, with his main horn that's facing forward being the most standout characteristic. And regarding the cards he uses, first we've got Leo's gate card that grants him double the bonus G power and his special ability called Alpha Blaster that gives Leonidas 200 more Gs during a battle. Now going to Omega Leonidas, this is Leo's first and only evolution during the story of the video game. In the last stages of the story, the battle brawlers must enter the final tournament in the darkest stage, which you could say was pretty much the doom dimension, to defeat Marduk and his evolved axe Vladitor. However, the only problem here was that despite having newly evolved Bakugan, the battle brawlers guardians were pretty weakened by the arena, and it was up to Leo to take on this foe once and for all. So Delta Drago, Storm Skyrus, Blade Tigrera, Hammer Gorim, Preyas, Angela, and Diablo give the last of their energy to Leo and he basically evolves. And afterwards Omega Leonidas faces X Vladitor in quite an intense 1v1 battle, which ends with both Bakugan fading out of existence. Or that's what we thought. <laughs> Cause in the next cutscene, our character is back at the park where he is once again reunited with Leonidas, who tells him that in their final moments, Vladitor gave him all the energy he had left as he truly deserved to live on. And yup, our character and Leonidas lived and brawled happily ever after. <laughs> and in terms of his looks, Omega Leonidas now has a bigger main horn that is accompanied by a smaller one, and seems to have gotten a bit of an armor around his shoulders, arms, and wings, which could be represented by the metal ring in his ball form. And he also has a tail with tons of spikes, and his claws are sharper than ever. <laughs> 
And in terms of cards used, we have his personal gate card that once again grants him double the G power bonus and his special ability card called Omega Eraser that gives him 400 more Gs. So yeah my friends, this has been my mini review and lore video on Leonidas and Omega Leonidas. Hope that you enjoyed the video, that it was informative to all of you and a bit of a refresher to all Bakugan fans out there. So yeah, if you enjoyed it, be sure to drop a like, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching the video and yep, it's been Paul and I'll see you in the next video.